Hey there, Louis Akbas here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can update your profile picture in ServiceNow. Now, before we get started, if you find this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest content that I publish. Last but not least, if you find my content helpful, consider supporting me as a creator by becoming a channel member. You can learn about all of the awesome perks that are included with my channel membership by clicking on the join button below. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now there are actually two places that you can update your profile picture in ServiceNow. Now we're gonna start off by looking at how you can update the profile picture that appears at the very top of your ServiceNow interface in the user menu. Now in order to update that profile picture, what you want to do is place your cursor in the filter navigator and you want to type live feed. This is going to bring up a menu called live feed where you can actually come in and change information about your profile, likes, users that you wanna follow, etc. Now, you do not need to have special permissions to access this by default unless your ServiceNow administrator has changed that default configuration. Now, the next thing that you want to do is you want to click into the profiles group. And this is going to bring up a list of all of the users in ServiceNow. Now, you'll see here in this list that there is a photo column and you can actually see photos of other users in ServiceNow. Now, what you want to do is you want to find yourself in this list and you can do that a bunch of different ways. I'm just going to go ahead and search for my user title here. And so I'm just working with a ServiceNow developer instance using a test employee record here. So this is my account that I'm working with. Next, you want to go ahead and click into the record. And in this case, um, I'm going to go ahead and click on the updated column value here to actually bring me into this live profile record. And you can see here that this is the photo that is being displayed in the user menu. Now, if you wanna change this, you wanna go ahead and either delete it altogether if you don't want a photo to be displayed, or you can go ahead and click update. That's gonna bring you into this choose an image file page. You wanna click on choose file. And then you want to navigate to where your image is stored on your computer. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this image here and click open. And then you wanna click okay. And you can see here that that photo has now been added. Now there is one more step in order for this to be implemented in the user menu. You wanna go ahead and click on the update button. And you can see here that my profile picture has been updated in this list. But you'll notice that in the user menu, it's still displaying the old photo. Now, what you might need to do in this scenario is actually log out of ServiceNow and then log back in in order to see that change take effect. All right, so I've logged out and I've logged back in. And you can see here that my profile picture has been updated as well in the user menu. So that's how you can update your profile picture in the user menu. Next, I'm gonna show you how you can also update the profile picture that's displayed on your user record, which is visible to users who might click into your user record. All right, now what I've done is I've gone ahead and impersonated a different user in my ServiceNow instance. And what I've done is I've navigated to the list of all incidents. Now, for example, you can see here that there's an incident that was created by the system administrator. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on the value here, system administrator in the caller column. And by clicking on that field, what that's going to do is it's going to bring me into that user record where I could view some information about that user. Now, the use case here is that perhaps you're working in ServiceNow and you have a record that was submitted or created by a user and perhaps you don't know them. So you might wanna click into this profile to understand who they are, where they work in your organization. This is what this page is going to display, user information. Now you'll also notice that there is a photo field here and currently there is no photo displayed on this user's profile. Now, if you wanted to add a photo for your user profile so that if other users click into it, they could see it, there is a certain place that you wanna to go to do that that's separate from the live feed we just looked at. 
So I've gone ahead and I've stopped impersonating another user. I'm back as myself in ServiceNow. Now, if you want to update that profile picture that is displayed on your user record, what you want to do is scroll up to the user menu and click on it. And you want to click on this profile option here. Now you can see here, this is going to bring you into your user record and you'll notice this field that says photo. And again, there is no photo currently stored on my record here. And you can see that what we uploaded in the live feed did not automatically apply here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the click to add hyperlink. That's going to bring you into the choose an image file page. You want to click on choose file. Next, you want to again, navigate to where that picture is stored on your computer. I'll go ahead and click this one and click open. And then you want to click OK. And you can see here that that photo has now been added. Now the last step is to click on the update button. And we've now uploaded a photo to our profile. Now what I'll do is I'll quickly navigate back to the incident list. And I'm going to just click on my profile from here. And you can see here that that photo is now displayed. So this is where you can add a photo to your profile so that if other users in ServiceNow are trying to learn more information about who you are, they will be able to see that profile picture as well. So that's it. This was just a really quick tutorial showing you how you can update your profile picture in ServiceNow. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish and be sure to check out my how to use ServiceNow playlist as I have a series of other tutorials that show you how to perform basic tasks in ServiceNow. I'm Louis Yacobalos. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.